And you already know what it is. You read the freaking title, Jabroni. Uncle Bokow, I'm in the building. Definite copyright strike on this video, but uh, that's okay because it is 100 degrees outside and I'm not gonna sit out there. No, 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 no. Uncle Bokow don't do that. What are we doing today? We're gonna do a little challenge. And I, and I hope you'll take part in this. We're, we're at five guys today and we got a, a hamburger with cheese. So it's, it's a technically a cheeseburger. I, I get it very simple. Um, I do um, just uh, ketchup, mustard, pickle, but nice, nice pickle on there. Nice, nice arrangement of pickle. I like the way they do it. I don't have to tell them extra pickles here. Every other restaurant, I have to stress extra pickles because they only put two. I like about five. And guess what? Look at that. There's five on there. All right, guys. So check it out. I'll tell you the story as we as we build this thing. I got some super hots and mid hots here, right? And I'm gonna just put this thing up here. I'm gonna go with a little bit of extra ketchup so that these peppers will stick. All right, maybe maybe that'll do it. You can, you can wipe them around with a fry if you don't have any utensils. You gotta love Five Guys fries. You gotta love Five Guys everything. So let's let's try to build this out. All right, Bohemian Goat, right there. This is the Hellfire. The Hellfire Hamburger Challenge. And I'm challenging you to get yourself some hot peppers and go to, look at that fatality right there. Oh man. Papa Dreddy, Ponda Bach on side, Bohemian Goat, um, Lemon Spice Jalapeno, which they do have heat. And then just load it right up. Load it right up till you get something that looks like that. Okay? See that? All right. You guys seen it. I don't have to show you again. We're going to put the bun on there. Now, I'm challenging you to do this because I think this is going to change the game. I think that this is going to make your burger pop. I think you're going to love it. And this is a this is a challenge with, with, with some heat and... Uh, but it's a challenge to take your favorite burger up a notch. This is this is culinary right here. All right, let's go in for a bite. We're gonna start right off with that big old fatality. Woo, it's hot. What made me think of this? I'll tell you. Barack Obama. Not really, but kind of. Barack Obama, when he goes to Five Guys, he gets fresh jalapenos on his burger, okay? And I, my first time ever going to Five Guys, I seen they had jalapenos. I didn't know if they were pickled or fresh. So they had all these toppings. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, throw some jalapenos on. Well, I after that, I always got jalapenos because they were hot. I couldn't believe it. They had such good flavor. They were hot jalapenos. They were good. Um, but on multiple occasions, twice, and maybe could have been more, but I remember twice. Once was in Charlotte, North Carolina, and once was in uh, Jacksonville, North Carolina. I actually got hiccups from eating these burgers with fresh jalapenos on them. So, and I think a lot of times, I don't get hiccups that often. You guys have watched, I mean, I've got almost a thousand videos. I think I've got hiccups. I got one single hiccup once, and then I got multiple hiccups on the heart of fire. And, and that's it. So, um, there may have been a third single hiccup in there that I don't remember, but those are the two that stand out. Anyways, with that being said, let's get another bite in. Uh, mm. Wow, it's phenomenal. That literally takes the burger to a whole new culinary level. Um, now, here's the thing. The last time I came here, 
last two times I came here. Uh, I looked and did not see jalapenos uh, offered on the menu. Now, both of those time I was prepping for a challenge, uh, so, <laughs> you know, they may have added to the, uh, the insanity a little bit, but either way, I wanted the jalapenos on the burger. It's just what I got used to. You know, it was, it was, it was like they gave it a nice little kick. Um, a crunch. And, uh, they don't have them no more. Maybe it's just this location, but they don't have jalapenos. And by the way, my favorite drink here, I usually drink water. I hardly ever drink anything sweet. But guess what I got? Yeah, that's right, a peach Arnold Palmer. They have the peach Minute Maid. You mix that with a little bit of sweet and a little unsweet tea. Perfect, perfect. I hate overly uh, sugary drinks. So, and then they got the fries. They always give you way too many fries. And they got the malt vinegar. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, hands down, guys, five guys, you can't go wrong. Um, they're all over America. If you got one by you, try this out. I'm challenging you, you, if you don't have a Five Guys, find another place with good burgers. If you don't have a place with good burgers or Five Guys, you can do fast food, I suppose. But I'm challenging you to a Hellfire Hamburger Challenge. Post your videos up, tag me in them, or you can come back to this video and comment on it. But let me know that you have done a Hellfire Hamburger Challenge. And, um, hey, you can go as hard as you want. You know, if you want to throw 10 Reapers on there, but I do want you to enjoy it. I want you to burn, but I want you to enjoy the burger. So if you don't like the taste of chocolate bootless, don't throw 10 of them on there and just you know, hate what you're eating. I want you to like it. Uh, because I, I, I really love this right now. This is, this is next level. Copyright strikes, multiples thereof. <laughs> That's the problem is, if I do a food review, if I do it outside, even then outside, they have speakers a lot of times, but you see it's empty out there. Yeah, you're not gonna get anybody <clears throat> uh, to go eat outside today. It's 90 something out. We're gonna feel like it's 100 or 99. That. Mm. The super hots are so good. That was a hot one right there. They they literally add just the right amount of heat for me. Um, you know, I'm burning right now. They're not bad. But even those lemon spice jalapenos are really good on there. Like I said, I'm used to eating five guys with jalapenos on my burger. Um, and when this place, when I seen that they don't have them, I was a little bit upset. But I said, you know what? I'll just bring my own peppers, you know? And I started growing these um, lemon spice jalapenos this year. They're um, two to three times hotter than a regular jalapeno. They taste way better. And I said, man, let me throw some, you know, I got me you know, there's a yellow scorpion, um, there's an M.O.E. Scott's Bonnet, a Bohemian Goat, a Tally. So not complete super hot, so one super hot, maybe two, one, then the rest are in the mid-hot range. Right, but whatever you got growing or laying around, go do it. Mmm. Mmm.
Wow. That was the yellow scorpion. That's a little bit hotter. Ah. Mm. How are you guys doing out there today? I had to, uh, come get some groceries. And it's like, I didn't want to go to the one store. It's so busy. I'm gonna, that means I'm gonna have to go grocery shopping twice, probably today and tomorrow. Or maybe I can go today and get us enough stuff to get us through till Tuesday. But, there's the five guys right here. The grocery store's right in back of it. I can eat something. Um, I have a full belly when I go shopping. Sometimes you think clearer that way. If you go in there hungry, and when you go grocery shopping hungry, you just buy junk, you know, or something. You're like, this is quick. And I don't feel like cooking tonight. Mrs. Boca already had food cooked for her and the girls when I got home. And I realized we didn't have any water. So I'm like, I gotta go to the store. Wow, look at that big old pepper in there. That just took this to a whole new level. Mm. Comment below, let me know if you guys have ever done um, a spicy burger before. Um, I did watch, uh, I watched Bella and Dark do Carolina Reaper Big Mac, I think it was. They put like a bunch of Reapers on a Big Mac or something. Um, I seen somebody else do one last year. Uh, me, I've eaten, eaten, I've eaten some hot burgers in my day. Um, but I've put super hots on Whoppers before. And uh, some other stuff. They're really good, really good. It just adds a, a, a whole new element. Oh, this big old bohemian goat just fell off. We wouldn't want we wouldn't want you to escape. Mm. Mm. Another good thing is the peppers add vitamin C, um, and they help break down, help you digest. I noticed that. I mean, I just feel so much better over the last couple weeks that I've been eating peppers, like fresh peppers every day. Don't get me wrong, you know, sauce is king in my book. I'm a, I'm a hot sauce head. But doing sauce and adding peppers to the regime, um, nothing can compare to it. I'm glad I took a break so I can really appreciate it more. Uh, usually every year, in the early spring when it's really hard to get pods i have some growing friends uh, that live in florida in the tropical climates and and uh, i get uh, peppers from them and so me and mrs bocow kind of stay eating fresh pods uh almost through the whole year pretty much um but this year we only bought two boxes of pods that's it only two boxes um from you know, January until uh, now. And uh, I said, we're gonna hold out, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait. And boy, it's so hard, man. You know, you start seeing boxes getting posted online in May and June, and you just salivate and you want them. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna wait. And now I waited till I got my own peppers, and I'm so happy, and I, and I got other people, I got two people right now that are sending me pods um, to review. So uh, one of them is some crosses uh, that this guy did, and I've been waiting on those, um, like just anticipating it for two years. Uh, and then I also got Benny the Butcher sending me some uh, some of his yellow reapers. So you guys should see me back on here reviewing uh, those pods all next week. I'm gonna be doing pod reviews, um, and then 
Well, you know, put the hot sauce reviews and, and the challenges kind of on the back burner. Not, not intentionally, uh, just that I have to prioritize, you know, the fresh peppers. And I still got some peppers that I haven't done a solo review on uh, this year. So there it is, Uncle Bo Carroll, the, the, the five guys, Hellfire Hamburger Challenge. Yeah.